Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Corey from Corey's Tech Time, and today we are looking at the Fossil Gen 6 smartwatch. So I picked up this a few days ago from Best Buy, and I've been using it ever since. Um, there are some things I like about it, and there are some things that I don't like about it. I definitely have some thoughts on it, so let's get right into it. So from a build perspective, I do like it. I like that it's made of stainless steel and it feels very solid. Um, I like the screen and also like that it's it's an OLED screen and that it's colorful as well when it's in ambient mode. So this is it in ambient mode. So it's pretty sweet. As far as the buttons, they're very clicky and the digital crown itself is nice and smooth. So from a build perspective, I think this is pretty solid hardware. Also, it's running the Qualcomm 4100 plus chip and performance is really solid. Uh, battery life is pretty good. I don't think I can get two days out of it, but I could definitely get one full day. Also, it does feature fast charging, which is a nice addition as well. Software for me is where the issue is. It is running World West 2. World West 2 itself is fine, but when you're getting a smartwatch, you want the latest and greatest. So this is $300 compared to the $250 or $280 Samsung Galaxy uh, 4 smartwatch. So this is a little bit more on the pricier side, not by much, but that's running the latest hardware and that, that is the base model. But this is a little bit more expensive and it's running some older software. I did experience some, some bugs with it. I had at least three or four occasions where the watch would just disconnect from my phone and I would have to readjust the strap to get it to work. Not sure why that would have anything to do with it. Uh, maybe it didn't sense it on my skin for whatever reason, but that did fix it once I adjusted it. Outside of that, um, the features set is, is okay. The only real difference between this and the Gen 5 is that this has blood oxygen sensor and that works pretty well. As far as watch faces, this is the only new one that comes with the watch currently. And it's it's okay. I, I don't care for for the readings to be to look like that. But it, it definitely works and it is and it's pretty easy to read. I don't like the touch targets on here, they're pretty small, so you have to really be precise when you select each each um each, each item so you have blood oxygen here and then you have sleep and then i believe this is steps and calories burned so yeah world west 2 on this watch um is is decent i just wish they would have um waited for world west 3 to give us customers um something different and something more uh again I have the Fossil Gen 5 currently and I don't see much of a reason to upgrade from my Gen 5 to the Gen 6 right now. And that's pretty unfortunate because I think this is a decent uh, smartwatch. I just wish it was a little bit cheaper in price and it just ran the latest version of Wear OS. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Performance is good. Battery life is is, is just okay. Um, and as far as the not so good, um, is this as far as the experience itself in using the device is just not that different from me using my Gen 5. My Gen 5 is pretty solid. It does occasionally starts to show its age. The battery life still gets me through a day just about. So I think if you were to ask me right now, I am going to take back my Gen 6. 
and just hold on to the Gen 5 for now. I may look at the Gen 6 again in the future once it has the um, the World West 3 update. But for now, I think it's a tough sell for anyone that already has a smartwatch um, to just pick this one up for $300 and it's running the previous version of Android or of World West, I should say. So those are my thoughts. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section below. I'll get back uh, to you and answer uh, each question. But yeah, um, if you have any, you know, thoughts of your own, feel free to share with me. Um, I'm curious to hear everyone's opinion. But yeah, I mean, nice hardware, just let down by OK software. So that's it for this one, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.